Moving on, I would like to welcome you all to this online webinar dedicated to all active learners. Today's webinar will be presented by Aiju Thomasar, who is currently working as the head of the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering at Government Polytechnic College, Perimbabwe, under Directorate of Technical Education. He graduated in Electronics and Communication Engineering and took his post-graduation in Microwave and Television Engineering from College of Engineering, Trivandrum. He has submitted his PhD thesis in Low Power Wide Area Networks. Ijasar is a true academician having more than 20 years teaching experience and eight years of industrial experience in automation. He has a natural instinct of developing socio-economic impact projects and has done a plethora of it. His area of expertise are embedded design, PCB design, ubiquitous networks and low power wireless area networks. The, significant, the significance of workplace maintenance using fiber system lies in the fact that the viewers can practice fiber concept at home and the knowledge can be extended to their workplace for practicing zero waste age plans. Enhancement of quality activity to the post COVID era. On behalf of ASAP, I welcome you, sir, to deliver today's webinar. And on this note, I would like to welcome all the attendees to this session. The participants may ask questions using QA option, which can be enabled by selecting the more option, or you can ask questions using the chat window by selecting all panelists. Sir, you may please. Start the session. Uh, thank you very much, Ashish, uh, for introducing me. Uh, welcome all my dear participants to my session on uh, work, workplace maintenance. Uh, it's practiced as part of uh, lean manufacturing. You may be a little confused about the terms which I have uh, used here. You may think that uh, this has got something to do with the manufacturing industry. Obviously, these are certain systems followed in industry. Let me see to whom are all uh, this uh, concept can be applied for. Lean manufacturing is for everybody. You can call it lean process. It need not be manufacturing. You know? Man manufacturing is uh, something when you produce something. Yeah? It can be applied for, it definitely needs to be uh, understood by students because we all have very much expectation on you people students. You are going to make a wonderful world. Uh, maybe after this COVID, you know, we have so many, we depend so much uh, on you. Obviously, it is for academicians because so the session is for entrepreneurs, startups, especially in ESL. So we'll be introducing you some system which is already being practiced. Obviously, educational institutions because we are in one way or other, you know, an industry we make skilled people out, especially for service industry like hospitals, uh, banking. There are many industries as such uh, following this concept and uh, manufacturing obviously we do not have to worry about manufacturing because every big manufacturing house will have their own system why this particular topic is selected because uh, the whole concept behind uh, the topic is uh, i'm not just introducing something of my own you know i'm just taking it uh, a certain concept from different other places and i'm trying to put across to you let me ask you a simple question eh? uh, considering there may be a lot of engineers here you know there is uh, nothing about engineers or uh, or different other uh, arts college people or students whatever it be you know, it all it applies to everybody so let me ask you a simple question which uh, country makes the best engineering products i'll give you a, a second of time question once again is which which uh, country makes the best engineering product no it is not china the answer is uh, it is germany germans make the best products their products are very much uh, famous for the reliability many of these products you can use it reliability for a factor of 99.9997 percentage so this value has got certain significance in this discussion, in this particular discussion okay so Germans make the best product. Now, let me ask another question for your thinking, you know. Why Germans are uh, very much obsessed about making good quality products? We definitely have to look into system. 
So the concept of uh, this day seminar is that uh, you don't have to invent any system by yourself. What that is recommended is just like any developed country or developed uh, people doing, you have to test and follow certain systems that are already applied. So looking into a German system, German, they have got a special privilege for a set of people called craftsmen. In fact, it is all craftsmen making things, you know. But our system is something different, you know. We, we basically, Indians are very good in mathematics. That is why we excel uh, everywhere in software industry. But, uh, and there is another reason why we go for mathematics because we, serve, we, we set a certain uh, uh, measurement criteria for selecting a job. So we definitely have to think whether it is right or not. Huh? I'll be presenting a few points uh, to substantiate whether the thing is right or not. But uh, as you look into Germany, they, are, they, they, they really value craftsmen very much. For skilled people, huh? skilled labor. So they make very good products. Their products are excellent. Now coming to which next country? There are yet another, many other countries like France making good products, Scotland, Switzerland, the UK, Germany, just US, US very famous for the software industry. So basically I'm talking about engineering industry. Then looking into the next country which make better product, I can definitely say that it is Japanese who make the better product. So you look into Japanese system, Japanese system, they have got, uh, it is their primary education make, make uh, people capable of doing big things. Because they have a system where in which they don't teach their children too much of topic. Yeah? But whatever that is taught in a classroom, it, the precise nature, and they make them practice whatever that is taught in a classroom. You just assume, you know, you compare that with, in, uh, with our system. Our system, when we send our children to a primary school, because why primary school? Because it is at primary school level where the character is formed or character is built. Whatever that is, children, especially at that age, they they are just mugging up things or they are just taking things as granted. You know, they don't put too much of a analytical power on analyzing things, whether it is right or not. Whatever that is taught will be followed a lifetime. So the Japanese system is something like they teach their students on quality. You look into the system, you can definitely check the internet for those details. You look into any Japanese school, they don't have any janitors or the caretakers. It is all children doing everything. Yeah? The, the first thing that they do at their school is they sweep their, sweep their, uh, their uh, area, uh, they, they, may, they keep their table, everything uh, so perfect. Uh, unlike our system, we even at the age of LKG, we start teaching our children uh, the, 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 the big, uh, you know, no, the, the, the advancements in mathematics, language and all. But uh, unfortunately, what will happen is our children are not taught very much about the value system. So uh, obviously, a COVID, you know, this COVID era definitely is going to be a game changer hereafter. Why? Because the next era that is coming after COVID will be Will be it will be known as and this this is going to be you know we all have a, a this type of experience for the first time maybe the era that going that is going to the post COVID era is going to be a, a different yeah? we need we definitely need to be prepared to face that era so you you would have seen that you know now we are doing things by ourselves we are we are, uh, we are depending uh, ourselves for many things you know we, we, you have so much of problem in transportation. Uh, de uh, purely depending on other countries uh, worldwide for importing things seems to be a very difficult situation. Now we have to think about all these things. Uh, uh, we have to improve the things. So coming to Japanese system, the concept of Japanese is that they follow some system that is already proven to be old. Even Japanese products are very famous here also. You know, you, you assume a case where uh, uh, maybe 20, 30, 40 years back, you know, we have only one or two automobiles available in our country. Maybe uh, our good old friends will be knowing that, you know. We, we, we all have to be happy with the uh, Hindustan Motors, Ambassador car or uh, Fiat. No, nothing more than that. It was uh, in early 80s. Suzuki started their activity here, uh, selling car here. It's called, uh, you know, it's Maridi Suzuki. 
So the concept that they have put into the system is that they implement the concept of what is called OEM manufacturing. Original, original equipment manufacturing is that uh, you entrust part of your work to different other people who do things better. Our previous concept is that even, even the concept of what we follow in our academic and institution is something similar. We make our children do anything and everything. Something like uh, we make them reinvent wheels, you know. Uh, so, so the concept of Japanese is that whatever a system, whatever a technology that is already existing, they will be taking it as for granted. Our system, we will be teaching our students so much of things. Maybe being an engineer, uh, 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 maybe a few of you also will be. You would have uh, thought about, you know, uh, so much of subjects. Uh, I'm an electronics engineer, so I don't, I, 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 there are many subjects that is still now not being applied. But I was basically not taught on the very basic skill that was needed to be an electronics engineer, the quality concept. So Japanese brought in the concept of what is called OEM manufacturing, where they make uh, they let others prepare things, you know, that help them a lot. So we have got uh, something uh, to deal with this type of concept for the class. Now, who else make things for us? It is the, the China. China makes so much of things. The Chinese model is much more adaptable to our system because Germany and Japan, they have, they, 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 they have enough resources and very few people in their country. But China, almost to our system, the population is very high. They need to cater to a huge volume of population. Yeah? Even you would have thought about, you know, the, 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 see, COVID happened because uh, Chinese people started eating so much of things, you know, which we even never supposed to think of, think of eating. It's all because one particular time uh, when there was not enough resources in the country for survival, these people go for eating anything what is available locally. So that built in a culture in which even after the system get uh, improved, that built in a culture in which the good old practices that are followed is still being practiced. So the concept of Chinese industries are all, they make things in mass. So you don't take the pre-assumption that Chinese products are not of that quality. That is not true. Why we think Chinese products are of bad quality because whoever our our importers you know our people who go to china for getting things they ask for items that are uh, say not that good quality why because they definitely need to sell it in our country and make margin we are very happy and we are not worried about quality you know so whatever they give we accept Unlike that, Chinese system as such, they have got a, a very excellent product. You know, any, any and every product is manufactured at China. The concept that is followed in China is something like, they give their people the basic education that is required up to 10th. Maybe in 10th or plus one or plus two, they will provide you what is called a vocational education. education. These children, they are put to work on factories. So, it is something like you learn something, you go practice, and you continue learning. So that give you, give you a better exposure, you know. So that sort of system needs to be brought in here. So the concept is something like you go work at a factory, manufacturing factory, work for two or three years. So you, you get some experience. That experience will be counted on to your education qualification. You attend to some examination. You will be given a diploma or a degree. The, the occasional education as such will give you a diploma. You work for three years, you do some uh, part time studies and all, and uh, you finish that work, you attend to examination, you will be given a degree, something equivalent to our BSc or uh, BTEC. Maybe you work for some more time. Th that is one channel how people go for uh, studying, you know. So, the, the, the main advantage of the system is that you are utilizing the young, young manpower that is available in the country for, so that is the time to work very well, you know. So that their, their mind is so fresh, they are full of energy, and they can do things better. So that is some type of education that is being followed. So you go to China, you get anything and everything, any product, you know. So 
they are obsessed with the, I, I cannot say that their products are of bad quality they are obsessed with the quality see, see you, you would have heard about uh, the zoom app you know zoom app had brought in so much of uh, changes onto the concept of online classes we have different other platforms so they, they have definitely put certain improvement onto the platform make it in such a way that uh, people can use it better that obviously there are uh, there, there there are certain security issues these issues definitely can be solved and i don't know i'm not going much into that detail so the basic concept is that you have to follow a system that is successfully being followed somewhere instead of uh, practicing or making your own system you experiment for some more, so much of time for the result so you adopt a certain system you do some sort of modification onto the system not big modifications, you know, the big modifications can definitely uh, hinder into the quality of the process. Yeah? So you do some, you, you make it suitable to your system, you add up to that. So that is exactly where the concept of lean manufacturing applies. So let me so go to the next slide. Yeah? Uh, lean, what is lean manufacturing? You can see an appellate uh, in a lean position. She, either she's running or she's about to run. So lean is something like, you are in a comfortable position to go ahead or to go ahead with the quality that is a literal meaning of reading but coming to the to, to what is lean maybe may, 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 you may be the first time hearing lean you know well lean manufacturing is totally different lean manufacturing is something like lean manufacturing is a quest for finding wastage yeah? It is a quest for, I will just uh, underline that part. Uh, lean manufacturing is a quest for fighting wastage. Or a lean thinker can see waste and systematically eliminate in every process and everything they do every day. Seems to be a little confusing, you know. So the term as such is not clear. So I have to tell you what exactly the waste in this particular context means. Now, if I ask you, you, you imagine for a second, you, or you look around, and can you name one waste that you can see? Obviously, you will be thinking that it is COVID time, all in lockdown. You have family together. You have your husband at home at home children at home students living with their spending so much of time with their father and mother now if i ask you write down the name of a dash you think as waste you write i can see my husband as the biggest waste i had ever seen husband will say my wife is the biggest waste, biggest waste Students will say, my father, he is so annoying me every time. He's a big flop, big waste. Sorry. This topic does not deal with the human relations. We are all, I'll be talking about uh, services only. Human relation, ASAP will be covering on a different other questions. You can attend to it that. We'll, we, we, this is not a place where I can uh, put uh, my comment on that. But now, uh, let us see what exactly a lean manufacturing is. I told you, lean manufacturing is about finding waste every time. It can be. If you can identify all things that are going on in your life, both at home and work, that is not changing anything or that not adding anything, then you have to do something to eliminate that. The definition is that if you find something, whether it is at home or work, that doesn't make any sense or that doesn't give any value on to your system, you have to go eliminate that part. I will go a little detail about that. Before that, so what is lean? Lean is doing more with less while doing it better. 
concept of lean is that you don't have to invest anything to implement the lean process you have to eliminate something cost involved in implementing a lean system let me have a sip of uh, coffee i make very good coffee I do it my for my wife uh, and daughter. Everybody is doing that, you know. COVID time had brought in so much change in the family that uh, people start helping each other. Now let me say, or let me look into a process of how how I make a coffee. This is not a manufacturing process. I'm taking it as an example. Now here, the diagram, what it is written as SIPOC diagram. You have supplier, input, process involved, outputs, and customers. Whatever be the system, the most important part is customer. You have to keep customers happy. So you look into my case of making a cup of coffee. It is I am the supplier. I make coffee. And in this particular scenario, the customer is my wife and daughter. They are the consumers. So I make coffee. I need certain raw materials for input to make coffee. It can be a kettle, water, coffee powder, mug. I'm talking about a black coffee. Then output, you get a cup of coffee. Now you have a process involved in making the coffee. So what first what I will do is I'll boil water, add coffee, a little bit of coffee onto a mug. Add boiling water and I will stay reserve. So this is actually the process. Now uh, I'm now looking into how efficiently the whole process can be managed. As far as the customer is concerned, customer need to have consistent and good quality product at the right time. You cannot take too much of time delivering your product. Huh? Customer place an order, he need the product in that stipulated time. Otherwise, he'll go somewhere. You know, people are not brand coaches nowadays. That you are very clear, you know. Even you look into any product, you look into your mobile phone. We used to have Nokia phones long time back. When Samsung came, taken enough uh, updation of their product. To compete with the competitors, they are 100% out of the market. People go for, in fact, even before Nokia, it was Motorola doing the, uh, uh, winning the, uh, have the, the maximum market share. Now, what happens is, it is taken, the market share of Nokia is taken over by a company called Samsung. Anybody and everybody go for Samsung phone. Reason why this the, everybody going for Samsung phone is not very clear. Huh? Those time the consumers are uh, totally. Those time it was predictable. People go for brand only. You know they are very familiar with the term Samsung every time. But later what happens is there is at another company, Emma or Xiaomi. We never you, we never had he, heard of the, the the product before. You know where it comes with a product beautifully manufactured. With a better product than with a better quality than Samsung, people go for that. So brand is not a not a criteria right now. Even in automobile industry, it's all the same. You have MG Hector in the market, or you have Kia in the market. It's for the first time we are hearing this the, this, the name for the first time. But still, people go for that. They showed excellent growth in their market market share. Let companies they have to do something, yeah. So what happens is Hyundai, it's at another big company. They need to compete with the situation. What they are trying to do is they are product superior or in comparison with the product, and they are trying to sell. The issue is that you have very little time to do all these things. Decision has to be made fast. 
So the most important factor is three to stand for the competition, to stand against the competition, you have to do it very fast. So coming, so this is only a particular process. Eh? You can I can put it in a different way also. Like uh, we are all academicians. Academician, I consider my institute as an industry making skilled manpower. Now the supplier is my college. I'm working for a polytechnic college, creating skilled people. We do our business very well. So we send uh, good quality technicians outside our college. Now input is that you have uh, children coming from different places. You have curriculum made by board or university. Infrastructure you have. Faculty members like me. And you have many other laboratory equipment are all into the system. The process is something like you begin the regular academic session. You give assignments. You give test paper. You evaluate it. You conduct the exam. You award them with the degree. These people are going out. This process we were been doing for more than 50 years. 30, 35 years back when I was doing my engineering, I too was going through the same process. Technology had changed. Eh? Not, there are additions happening. Process have brought into so much of change. You know, people started talking about uh, uh, what is called uh, uh, outcome-based education. You define outcome, you do something. Ultimately, these things are there in paper only. We do the same thing. But now children are very smart. You know, what they do is you give assignment in such a way that our our, our uh, the thinking is that these people, children, will be writing assignments. And they will be understanding at least what that is being written. They at least will get, you know, 50 percentage of the mark. That, that is the number one concept you have to understand. You have to make your children skillful. That is more important. Eh? Only skill can make uh, our country survive. So children, what they do? They are now with the mobile phones. Somebody will be doing it. They will take a photograph. They will do, 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 do you send it through WhatsApp. Everybody will be doing copying the same thing, not just copying, you know, they'll be listening to TV or uh, doing some chat with uh, uh, what is called uh, WhatsApp and simply will be writing. You know, some people are very smart that they take color photocopy of uh, this assignment and we submit just like that. So we are not about to change the pro uh, change the uh, uh, change the concept huh? and you have so much of time involved in that. You make a child write two, three, or four pages of so assignment, you are wasting so much of his valuable time. And these children, they will be. So, one factor that need to be considered is time. And in manufacturing, time is an important factor. So, waste can be time. Okay, I will come to this concept later. Huh? Well, now let me look into. I am more comfortable with making coffee. Uh, uh, my coffee has got a consistency all time. I, I really make good coffee than uh, uh, good uh, skilled paper. Okay. So, customer says, I want good coffee. That term as such is not very clear. Huh? The term good coffee is not standard. But you should have consistency. You know, whenever a customer asks you for a good coffee, every time you should give the same coffee. Now that uh, sometimes that you have asked a uh, good coffee, you give some coffee. Maybe uh, next time when he asks for coffee, you put a little more sugar. Not okay. Now, uh, customers' uh, requirement uh, is very hard to measure. But getting into a good coffee, you have got certain other criteria, what I call it the drives. Uh. So you, you, you can ha have a component called a taste. Taste means can be rich creamy cream here in the sense you know it's a milk yeah? you can add uh, more milk or without milk or some somebody need without sugar and second criteria is that temperature you uh, the customer is very hot or uh, below that below some temperature cost is another criteria so you define certain drives so that you achieve at a, at a at the customer requirement 
at all and you have upper limit and you are down limit at the bottom limit you have limits and you have you know what is called uh, uh, regions in between yeah? you have consistencies in between so you you, you, you so the process is uh, defined the defining a process is not part of lean manufacturing yeah? that also will be coming uh, coming coming to it later now so uh, as i told you the customer requirement is very confusing not clear and uh, so you have to define drives you have to define see, see you look into college you know you cannot make everybody graduate uh, you have to define certain limits uh, something like uh, a parent entrusting a child on to your college definitely have got so much of dream but uh, children have got different perspective about education you know somebody will be good in uh, by hurting things some are very skillful some are um, very 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 poor learners but they'll be doing things better industry need all these people you know our our wrong notion is that you know we think only people who are good in uh, studying themselves or read something and you reproduce that that is well. that is not skill uh. skill is something different uh. now coming to waste or waste that to be eliminated as lean processing in my system of making a coffee waste can be number one it can be a defective raw material by the powder which i brought if it has got something uh, some uh, some inconsistency problem it's a defect power production if i need to make three cup of coffee somebody what some, somebody what they do is you know they make uh, three or four cup of coffees i remember you know there's a place here at arnagulam where they make uh, sugar cane juice uh, it is a nice place so every time when i go there having a sugar cane juice you can see this the man preparing it you know he will be preparing it and uh, see it's, it's pure sugar cane juice that is served so you you take it he will take it on a bigger cup of coffee you skews the sugar cane juice and he'll pour it onto you to the cup that is about to be served and you look into the into the bigger mug you know you can see at least 25 percentage of the material that is made inside you just throw it off and uh, go doing the same process every time so or production you know or production is a, is a big waste eh? or production is a big waste eh? we academician we keep on teaching these children so much of information that is mostly irrelevant to the our production transportation of product eh? something like uh, you, you make coffee your wife sitting somewhere and your uh, son or daughter sitting somewhere you have to spend so much of timing for distribution you know that is a, a transportation waiting you make customer wait so much for product there are very specific examples for all these things you know when some even some companies bringing their product onto the market so they put restriction on customers you know you have to book your uh, uh, car or bike uh, six months in advance now customers will not wait for that you know six months booking is too much a, a long waiting period huh? why because these companies they have not implemented a, a system uh, um, to save time inventory unnecessary inventory you are keeping in a base waste of time for making coffee if i buy two kilogram of coffee powder and half kilogram of sugar it's a, it's a it's a poor inventory you know and second important thing is motion of people it is something like i am making a coffee you know i have the kettle here and uh, sugar kept somewhere at a different place maybe store so every time i have to when i go for making a coffee i have to i have to walk 10 or 15 steps taking the, the coffee powder maybe i have to walk another uh, 10 step for getting the sugar so ultimately what will happen is you, people will get fatigue you know so making a coffee it is okay but if you make your employee or make your student run here and there every time for every process it's a big waste of time if you ask your student to submit an assignment this person at, at least you have 60 students in your classroom these people has to come to your place submitting the assignment you have to physically verify each and every assignment you have to do mark you know children i told you are very smart huh? they know how to do all these things you know they, uh, but uh, concept is that in any process you need to limit the uh, any manufacturing process in particular even i i told you it is even applicable to academy okay now processing you know you do unnecessary processing for some system something like uh, for making a coffee i boil uh, water separately i boil milk separately 
I do do mixing. This is what I'm saying. You you find out alternatives to make a consistency in your product. So that is exactly what is called waste. And then thinkers look for wasted and they try to improve on system. So I am talking about an industrial system. You know, you don't be much worried about uh, waste in your personal life. Huh? People will call you with OCD. You know, you know about OCD, you know, obsessive compulsive disorder. Huh? People very much bothered about uh, neatness. Anything and everything, you know, they, they, they wash their hand very frequently. It's some sort of disorder. You please don't uh, mix uh, what is called, uh, whatever that I'm going to discuss in after this slide with uh, OCD. I'm not obsessed with OCD. Okay. Now, there are certain standards that are already existing in a system. The biggest standard, in fact, this is not part of my topic. I just have to give a mention about the topic. Six Sigma is a process where in which you can improve your system for accuracy. Accuracy is something like you make a product, how much uh, fault that comes to the product is the most important factor. Sigma, it's all the same Sigma, you know, Sigma is nothing but the standard deviation. You study so much of uh, probability, statistics, everything in your class. It's something like you just make a, make, make a comparison only. If your company is on Sigma, on Sigma means I am not going detail into that process. That may curriculum already, you know, BTEC students would have covered that in your uh, management paper. But let me come to something more practical about Sigma. If your company is one Sigma, you make 35 percentage good products. Eh? Every 100 product uh, you make, the 69 are wasted. It's one Sigma. Two Sigma account for 69 percentage of accuracy. Three for 93 percent. You can check internet for all these details. You know, a six sigma is where you achieve 99.999997 accuracy. Sometimes it is called a zero error. You have you, 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 it is absolutely impossible to have a system with a zero error. So many many of uh, multinational companies, especially Germans, Japanese, they follow a system, what is called Six Sigma in their process. If you are an institution, it is not that simple to implement Six Sigma, okay. See, for implementing Six Sigma, you need to invest so much effort on research. Eh? You need to hire so much of uh, people, so, so much of very, uh, what is called uh, um, costly people for implementing those systems. So I, I, I assume that we are all very poor people, you know, we cannot invest so much of money on human resources. So Six Sigma basically bother about quality of the product. Whatever that is, uh, uh, whatever the topic that I am coming afterwards will be about uh, how the quality standards are achieved. Now, the process of Six Sigma is something like uh, you define a process, you measure it, analyze it, you rework it, you improve it, and you send to the market. This particular time, you cannot understand, underestimate your children. Yeah, the students, as such, they are doing wonders. This COVID time, there are many colleges. They have made what is called uh, uh, what is that called ventilators. Somebody, many, somebody making, somebody in this PPE equipment, mask, everything, whatever opportunity these young people get, you know, they are doing it very well. But you consider the case of a ventilator that is used for a patient. A ventilator that is used for, for a patient need to be 99.99999 percentage error free. Otherwise, what will happen? The patient is put on ventilator. There may be may not be any body to attend at some point of time. If the system is not reliable, you cannot have a, such a system. So obviously, what we have to do? We have to import ventilators from German, Japan, Switzerland, and all. There, these craftsmen are paid so high that we have to pay for that also. A ventilator, a good quality ventilator will cost not less than 25 lakh rupees in the market. The, 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 the product which the poor intelligent our children made cannot substitute that product. 
the, the, the basic issue is that our children are not exposed to the standard that are really needed by the whole concept of this webinar is that we need to establish a system we need to establish an environment in our institute where and where these children are trained on a quality system instead of teaching so much of uh, uh, theory maybe story transform this that you know control engineering i don't know so many topics uh, i don't remember the name either uh. so instead of that the moment the day a child enter onto your institution whether it is technical arts whatever it be it's all for skill you know skill is is not exclusive for technical institution uh. you join an art school uh, you need to possess some skill coming out of you, you you join an arts course definitely you need to have oh, some skill when you go out of the college so the first thing i told you the primary the primary school instead of teaching these children we spend so much of money for our children you know now we make certain good things in our uh, country you know our uh, uh, health uh, health uh, um, sub, uh, nurses you know they are excellent it is it, it is only this time we realize that this are very good they are working everywhere in the world you know whether it is uk australia canada south why are it it's it's, it's all the, the world had already recognized these people now we think about uh, recognizing these people now we we we, we feel, feel so much sympathy on these people huh? but unfortunately these people are, are that that profession was not properly been taken higher here now I remember on instance. Okay, I'll, I'll come to the next slide. You know, we'll talk uh, these things in between. Huh? Okay, now lean manufacturing is something like you. You will you 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 you. It's a process. You eliminate wastage. You reduce your inventory. You reduce the time, and you will be moving towards a quality product. So actually, six six has got nothing to do with the lean manufacturing. Yeah? Lean manufacturing is you are making error free. You are applying some technology or some technique wherein which you manufacture. Quality product. Eh? Lean is a factor or a or, or a method that is used to achieve. Yeah? You, you you refine the process or you you remove whatever waste that uh, waste is not physical waste. You know physical waste also is there. The time. So actually, coming into the history of lean manufacturing, it was introduced by Toyota in the year 1990. Another Japanese. Eh? So Toyota was not that big company those times in 1990s or before that. When compared to American manufacturers like Ford, you know, Ford when they do so much of business, these poor Toyota people were just selling few cars. So the, the as I told you, the basic notion of Japanese people is that they go somewhere, you see, they study the system, you adopt the the whatever good thing, they modify the system and they put into put into practice. Eh? So the, these people went into Ford, they see what exactly is happening there. The total scenario is different uh, uh, with the Ford factory. Yeah? Ford factory uh, has got a different set of uh, different type of uh, cars. Uh, um, Toyota those time were manufacturing uh, some uh, some not that expensive vehicles. So uh, lean manufacture introduced into the world by Toyota. Okay. Now I, I'm not going much. Uh, now now the, the system is something like uh, you you people started combining those two. Something like you have lean manufacturing and Six Sigma, and it is called the lean Six Sigma. Six Sigma is uh, talk about quality. A lean manufacturing uh, deals about what is called reducing the wastage in time, inventory, uh, shipment, all, all related. The time is very important, as I told you with uh, uh, Hyundai and all. You know, you you don't have any time. Huh? You, you see now now the post COVID is something like uh, you need to establish uh, so much of in house manufacturing units within the state itself so the idea of what i am putting forward to you is something like you convert any at every engineering or technical institution or arts college or even school in such a way that you make some product these these are not you know some innovative ideas i'm talking you because uh, there is already uh, similar thought, you know, our edu honorable education minister uh, two months back uh, was sharing this idea. Something like uh, his proposal is something like uh, you keep the afternoon session free for these children, let them go work somewhere, let them make money. You know, even that concept also we have to practice. You know, we, we, we are a developing countries. 
the main problem with our people including me you and all is that we don't have money enough money whatever money majority of the major major portion of the money uh, we earn is spent for education of our children we teach them up to bg phd and all when they they they, they reach 30 years old you know the all productive time is already gone but the same me or you who are it to be we send our children for better education outside india maybe australia canada singapore this 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 place is very very famous for quality education it assumes uh, that is what people think they are these people go very happy do some job of the other for making money we are, hardly have any money we still think that you know doing some work while studying is some sort of a big issue that that sort of so my concept is that you in you 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 convert your system onto a manufacturing unit you do some product uh, some product doesn't mean that you have to design it and all i told you you, don't, you you're not supposed to design anything yeah design testing and all will take so much of time you don't you adopt some technology that is already there spend bare minimum time maybe one month or two establish a manufacturing unit you start manufacturing start doing it huh? that is the concept now i told you lean manufacturing is something something like uh, you spot defects in a uh, defects in raw materials so you 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 set out issues uh, uh, about uh, ore production uh, toyota and all they don't do any ore production they produce as per demand you know unless you have to to store somewhere you know you have to need to have a storage facility god or you know those things will cost you very much huh? you have to reduce the waiting time this, this is applicable to everybody if you go to a government office maybe for uh, some some service or other there you are put for waiting for one two three or four hours sometimes it's a waste of time you know you have to improve the system consistently constantly in such a way that you do some sort of uh, experimenting yeah you see how 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 much time it take for a normal uh, service to be delivered you do some sort of uh, uh, some sort of improvement something like you have a person taking print out huh? so you, you you see or taking photocopy you monitor it's 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 all you have to do it yourself you know it is not something somebody monitoring and making you do not like that and lean manufacturing all about doing everybody everything by, by themselves themselves not somebody compelling you to do that you know? that is not part of the uh, part of the discussion huh? so you find out how much time it takes to take a photocopy you improve the system you do some sort of modification you, you keep the paper somewhere here or some, some other place do some you improve on time so that the 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 the, the service is delivered faster you definitely have to to bother about uh, transportation You, you you cannot make your employee or or your uh, worker uh, wandering here and there every time you make a product you know that that takes majority of your time the studies shows that 60 percentage of your time is wasted in that manner you produce something it is not scientifically planned eh? majority of the people do that eh? extra processing eh? now that is all about uh, lean manufacturing yeah my 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 concept for the day is not lean manufacturing i was just uh, just uh, giving an overview about that so I told you about uh, uh, seven six sigma and how lean manufacturing go along with six sigma. Six sigma is a different system. Lean manufacturing is a process um, to improve efficiency, leading you to six sigma. Now, my concern is more about uh, how to organize workplace. That is the, that is the topic of the day. You know, I've said I think I have spent uh, uh, majority of my time. You know, coming to that. Uh, and now what I am adopting here is a technique what is called five S. Yes, it was a Japanese concept. I was standardization. There was so much of confusion about the origin of I was method of uh, housekeeping. Huh? It, 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 it is how it's a method to, to arrive at to a lean manufacturing concept. I was, uh, it, was it, it is said that it was originally proposed by Henry Ford huh? in their Ford manufacturing company. It was in a different line. It's called Kanto those times. Kanto is something like a cleanup, arranging, neatness, discipline, and ongoing improvement. I told you, Japanese are very famous for adopting, um, revising, reforming standards available and uh, uh, practicing it. That so the five S is known to be uh, practiced by Japanese, right? Which is not 
everywhere uh, everywhere in the sense not in your college or institution majority of the japanese uh, workshops uh, manufacturing units uh, hospital not not hospital exactly somebody will be calling majority of electronic industry any industry whether it's a construction manufacturing uh, automobile everywhere even even when we set up for placement you know lnt and all they they have to these people have to take a certification of five years it will a, a, a six months course or something like that uh, dealing with five years only because it's, it's, a, it's a workplace culture coming to five years it, it is it's all it's all s uh, i'm talking about the five s it, it's already shown there it's called seiri satan say so seiketsu and sutsuke so simple huh? that's all uh, doing five years is doing this much huh? you are a little bit confused that say is say so, say so, but so much of uh, you are hearing it for the first time huh? this is the japanese word huh? it all begins with s and now we are coming to our indian english version it is called sort set in order shine standardize and a state five s so i am going to and i, I it will take hardly 10 minutes to uh, say about five s you know it that simple i was sort of uh, housekeeping is that simple now you can start practicing at home remember this standard is not for house or home not for kitchen you can do it at kitchen for the time being you are already there in the lockdown you have enough time you start practicing you, you do so much of cleanliness at home people people admit you on the hospital calling you have got ocd you know it, 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 you have to be very careful about that huh? but you start practicing at home now i'll tell you what exactly sort huh? now imagine your workplace you don't you don't you don't worry about uh, the place where you work you know you already have a very peaceful mind right now uh, the, the, the uh, so uh, let us let us let us not go to our workplace right now we'll think about our kitchen huh? or some room sort is something like first what you have to do is you have to do the process sort just every day every time you have to do it huh? may not be very very difficult the next time you doing the sort huh? you have to sort the things sort the things in something like uh, you sort it in two lots first is whatever that is usable or that can be used or that is essential second thing whatever that is not required how to sort it into way so you you go to your kitchen you see so much of thing there huh? there are you never had used it it waste eh? lean manufacturer waste eh? last time when you buy you have got a what is called a, a beautiful carton where which the entire uh, uh, the cooker is put in eh? so that you have kept somewhere in the kitchen itself thinking that you will find sometimes something to do with the carton <laughs> at, at least for any workplace 60 percentage of whatever there in your workplace is all waste that is what the research says now this is the toughest portion of doing workplace maintenance when whatever you take you know you will have an notion that this will be this will have some some use sometime afterwards that's the main problem you know but take it from me as per probability or as per strategy whatever you call it or out of your experience you keep aside something for a future use whenever you need that particular thing there is absolutely no chance of you getting the 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 the, 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 the carton or whatever it be that is what probability says huh? you absolutely have no problem finding those things that was kept aside for future use huh? so my opinion it is it, it, not not because your problem yeah why because in our our schooling you know when our teacher teach you about probability and all they teach you in some way, in such a way that you know they ask us to toss a coin and and the teacher will ask you what is the probability of getting a head or tail this process you will never do in your lifetime except you 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 become a cricket player or something like that. the next question what is going to be teacher will tell you now you are happy with uh, tossing a coin no? now you toss a die die has got a six faces you know then she will ask you or he will ask you what is the probability of getting six now this word children what will they say ah sir it is one by six six time you you toss a coin or toss a die you have probability that one time you get a what is called a six 
that is all people are very happy you give a plus a hundred percent mark children go to engineering colleges or uh, polytechnics or arts colleges or ITs, whatever it be people are very happy now this child when he goes for a railway yeah uh, we, are, we are entering into the last 10 minutes sir okay okay i'll just make it very fast okay uh, so sort is something like sort is something like uh, you you set aside whatever that is required and whatever that is to be disposed so that is what is called sort uh, i can show you two picture uh, one before doing the sorting operation after so all all that this cartons it are all kept aside you know that is the first part uh, kitchen you you you, you, may, you sort in such a way that you, you whatever that is used whatever that need to be disposed disposed need to be disposed you know, disposing will give fetch you some money okay now next part is called set in order that is very important uh. set in order is something like uh, Disposed or whatever that need to be disposed, you dispose it. You don't have to keep it anywhere. Uh, use it for uh, probably will not help you or it will not allow you. Setting order is something like you set items in such a way that you can take it at the minimum time. Something like uh, your kitchen, you have got sugar, um, um, uh, Korean, uh, some, so many essentials. You, know? you can keep it very near to your uh, what is called a stove or a workplace. So you don't have to wander here and there taking all those things. Huh? So whatever that is rarely used, huh? maybe maybe an EDF maker or something else, you know, you use, use occasionally, maybe once in a month or something like that. Huh? You can keep it separately somewhere safely. So that is what will call the sorting. Huh? So you, you do it, uh, the sort of uh, set in order. You do the set in order in such a way that you spend a minimum effort in getting things in your routine process same thing with your workplace also you know everything whatever that is very much needed should be kept in very near right? that is what you call set in order now most important third s is called shine uh, sorry these are certain uh concepts you know you have certain area where in which you 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 keep the faulty items before repair or send it for repair or uh, all kept somewhere right? the concept is that anything and everything should have a space that is the basic five s is basically called by japanese cancel continuous improvement you keep on improving your process just like lean manufacturing it's a part of lean manufacturing so in a factory or in a workplace anything and everything should have a definite place that is what is called set in order anything and everything should have a specific place you have you can see the cleaning utensils are kept in place in a factory now and the third important is not second eh? the third important thing is shape so first is you you sort everything now you set everything in order now shape that's the most important part shape is that whenever you begin a process the very uh, morning you reach your office you have to clean everything by yourself cleaning by somebody else is not there in japanese concept i told you you have to do it yourself whether you are the managing director or you are the principal or a HOD or teacher who are to be these things are or if you are a machine operator, you do thorough cleaning of equipment, you put the grease, oil, whatever that is required, huh? whatever, uh, you have to do it in two places. When, when your uh, student get into your uh, laboratory, you have to make sure that uh, you, you do you do, do the same, you make them do the sweep process. Huh? You clean your uh, equipment, work table, whatever lathe, whatever it be, you clean it, you oil it uh, before you doing start you doing your work. Huh? That will improve your efficiency. That's what is called a sweep, huh? clean. Huh? That is the third answer. Or, 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 or uh, uh, your workplace, the first time, the, the, every time, even you have to do it afterwards also. After you Later or something, you have to clean it. Huh? You have to dispose whatever scraps or whatever coming. Huh? That, that is a workplace culture. You definitely have to impose that on huh? sweeping. Huh? So that is uh, everybody has to do it. Huh? There is nothing like somebody will be doing for it. Right? This, is a, this is a practice wherein which everybody has to do it yourself, huh? you, by themselves. Not, not that you, you impose, make somebody else to do that. Everybody has to do it. Huh? You are a teacher, you have to do it. Student, you have to do it. Huh? You are a, a machinist, you have to do it. Everybody has to do it. Huh? Sweep, cleaning. Uh, it is, I, I shown you a, a machine. But can say another picture where people doing the and even during this process you know you can find fault with the machine or that that can be rectified before actually coming into the now standardize that's very important eh? so once you have a system you definitely have to define places for anything it's something like you have to make visual perspection for anything so you 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 keep a stock you definitely have to keep a, a specific place you can use uh, this type of market yellow market yeah yellow market different yellow is a very famous marking yellow is something like you're not supposed to cross an yellow market you can see different other marking like uh, uh, yellow and white or black in between where which you have to deal with some portion you, you go to any industry you will find uh, this yellow marking you know it can be a trolley path 
for your place you are supposed to so you have to mark it properly your laboratory will have a space for anything everything should be well marked so it's something like standardized huh? standard is something like uh, you should ensure that the the the, the standardizing is not the, the practice is not breached by anything by accident huh? so any any item that is kept something like uh, laboratories you have got uh, uh, work tables you fix it onto the floor so that it move it after you have to do so much of uh, uh, experimenting before finalizing a place you know you have to make sure that uh, the spaces are occupied and see, see, it can be applied to anywhere huh? uh, you don't have to invest uh, all, all you need to do is buy a little of paint huh? that is all that you already have got selling the scrap you know so, uh, this process as such doesn't cost anything so now you have got the uh, uh, standardizing huh? and it, it, standardizing is all part you know there are many tools huh? uh, these these are already available in the market or you can buy for pain you have to define anything something like uh, i can show you a place where you have uh, been for everything then you have to clip in the chemical uh, chemical uh, lab uh, where you have got a different set of bins kept uh, all for disposing different type of hazardous non hazardous all uh, and all kept very near to the work table only because it, 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 you know, the, the, the 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 student or the researcher is not supposed to uh, to walk too much for uh, whatever essentials should be kept very near and you can see plug points and all arranged well within the uh, within the reach uh, tools and all you can do it properly something like you know you you make a table like a board you you put uh, some simple arrangement of hanging uh, these things maybe you can have a, a border something like a sketch of these things you know the, the concept is that just look into you can find you know two two components not missing you know somebody had taken it so even some factory they uh, they adopt a system something like you know they have got certain tokens kept here somebody taking some tool you have to take the token and put uh, onto the place of the tool but somebody looked into you can easily identify that uh, but here it is not there huh? you cannot see that huh? so uh, there are some other li like kites and foam huh? can be arranged something like that you can buy the form sheet like this you can very well stack it to your uh, it, it, it's not for i'm not talking exclusively about factory you know you can adopt where well, it is a your personal workplace you can do it accordingly but the concept is that if something is missing you would be, be able to identify then and there itself huh? the evening evening time when you finish your work and you just open the drawer you you, you have to ensure that everything is there huh? you and if some if something is missing you can spot it immediately and you don't have to go walk, 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 walk walking around for uh, uh, for getting things you know it's already there you know anything and everything has got a place right this is what is called a standard yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, coming to the last part uh, over huh? Okay, now I am coming to the last part. It's called sustain. Eh? You have to ensure that uh, the whole cost concept sustain forever. You definitely have to certain check procedures. You you have to schedule some routine maintenance. You know, you you maybe once in every uh, six months you do the, the the entire process like sorting. You change. You do modifications. You make your uh, co-workers explain to explain you the concept. Eh? You give some what is called uh, uh, award or pricing to those who do it. Eh? And so uh, the basic concept of standardization is that it is not imposed to buy. You definitely should feel pride working in a place uh, where. Uh, uh, very a very beautiful place you know everybody like working at a very beautiful place eh? okay that is all about fiber now these are certain places uh, where fibers is done before and after another place this is one place where in our college you know, we have implemented a laboratory with the fibers all specified mark very neat eh? children follow that this is another place we have a production center here we enter all, all uh, through biometric access a language language lab you know all set by children only you know it is not we doing it eh? we make them do it eh? you, you can find yeah. So here you can see the wires hanging around, you know, as a part of continuous improvement, we have changed that also. We never allow wires uh, to hang like this, you know, once you, you finish the system. Now uh, you, you, you can see the another view. Here we make our children, you know, uh, do do things as per standard. It's a networking done by our children as per industry standard. You, we define industry standard, we make them do it so that they, are, they, they, they ensure that they are skillful. Huh? These are certain products manufactured by us. Huh? I'm not uh, spending too much of time on that. We right now we have a production center running in our college, and we we have products that is being not sold, you know, that is supplied to different other colleges. And uh, this is you, you. You don't need too much of a complicated infrastructure to do this. Is a, this is a school at the Telangana where five S is implemented. You can even do it at uh, an Anganwadi. Okay, anywhere, everywhere is okay. Government office. You uh, so it's before and after. You know there you can see specifically is, is space allocated with a yellow line for keeping the bags. Huh? And uh, in their kitchen, kitchen means you know they they have their uh, uh, noon noon meals. You know uh, it, it before and after. 
and uh, these are some uh, some of our laboratories implemented with 5s you can see how uh, space are arranged you have it's all numbered uh. if one particular item is missing you can very nicely easily make up you know this is another thing uh, these are what we need to we, we need to have a change something like that uh. this is uh, this is uh, the public place you know when technology keeps growing you find a part of that in your electric post yeah people do so much of uh, uh, nuisance with electric post uh. it is something uh, you, you see it everywhere you know we have to make a culture in such a way that our children are taught workplace culture so that these people follow it anywhere everywhere in their lives i think my time is over maybe uh, yes, sir. okay now you can ask me questions yes sir we will ask few questions as we are running short of time okay. uh, so i would like to post a question from uh, francis sir uh, is there any importance in team spirit in lean manufacturing and fibers that is a good question eh? i told you if fibers or lean manufacturing cannot imposed onto a system everybody should take the responsibility of implementing uh, the concept so now actually the question is what is how how am i benefited from doing it eh? first of all we have to do it eh? we have to improve our system unless otherwise our system is improved in some or some year after maybe post covid you cannot survive that is number one number two, that there is a big difference in a place everything systematically ordered arranged and to sit and work eh? especially when it do it yourself eh? you do all those things by yourself somebody doing it you will not enjoy working there eh? if you do it yourself you will get a feel of working there it's all done by you that concept we have very successfully done in our college you know our children are very well following that i think uh, the yes sir are you yes, yeah sir. just just we done all and yeah yes, another question, question. Uh, yeah. what are the few sources to get certified in lean and six sigma lean and six sigma uh this uh, type of uh, it's all it's not there i'm not sure but there are uh, certain universities you you look into internet you know because i was just going through the youtube resources there are certain institutes offering uh, certification in that uh, but it is not not ex exactly as five as it can be part regular study you know you you put the uh, put the system onto your curriculum it is not that you go i as i told you you know it is not something to be taught by taught in classroom it has to be practiced it has to be developed by yourself so just by doing that will not help you it's so simple that even without watching any video you know just one hour of this session you can do something so certificate is not important but normally what uh, uh, the companies does is especially uh, talking to one of my student working with the lnd they are the system is angle they recruit these children as uh, trainees they will be put for training for uh, total training for six months in that six months this children has to pass a paper where in which deal with the fiber system so fibers need to be part of a whole system so my suggestion is that you have to adopt this sort of topics onto the syllabus you remove something some unnecessary unwanted thing you really remove that eh? you put a topic like because this 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 is that definitely places where you get certified yes sir, yeah. have, yes sir we have plenty of questions uh, yes. but i would like to take only one question as we are really running short of time okay this so question you can correct. send me can i will answer through email also definitely definitely sir definitely sir we will do that yeah so okay. uh, the question is what is the difference between sort and set in order are they same no they are two sort is something the first process you know sort you have you don't have to do every time sort is the first process whenever you think about implementing a fiber system as part of lean manufacturing the first process that you have to do, do is sort you go to your kitchen or over your bedroom or whatever workplace or you, you put everything together you know you you, you put uh, whatever that is immediately later maybe for the future use or seldom use at all all all, all uh, sort that is what is set in order is something like after sorting change your item in such a way that you spend bare minimum time in getting things in your kitchen you have to arrange your sugar your coriander powder chili powder whatever it they are, are very frequently used items you know in such a way that when your mother or wife or yourself doing some sort of cooking 
you should be able to grab the item with with no time you cannot run around for so, so 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 set in order is something like you identify space for anything and everything at your workplace so you buy something new you have to find a place for that you mark it properly and you arrange it in such a way that just by looking into you will be able to identify the item that will help you in reducing your inventory yeah? many many of the supermarkets workshops and all what happens is items are kept now not big problem big, big issue because you already have a computer and a system but the issue lies when you go searching for a product eh? when you go to some medical medical shop eh? you ask for something eh? they will just look into the uh, computer as, uh, for whether it is available many times that happens you know then what will happen is the, 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 the salesman will take five to ten minutes searching for the item so set in order is something like you define space for anything and everywhere and you ensure that it is kept there and you have to immediately so th that is th that is part of that is why it is called part of lean manufacturing yeah? lean manufacturing talk about something like you you reduce time wastage yeah? so five is something like you arrange things in such a way that you spend minimum time in getting things so it's all the same so it's a two different way right? sorting you don't have to do every day once it is short maybe during the audit phase once in a month or once in a once in the beginning of your semester or company you during the shutdown time and all you can do the short pro sorting process it definitely need to be a regular process not every time business such an order also it's not an every sweeping is an every day business okay any more any more questions i think i'm clear i, I think the question is yes, clear sir. yeah yeah yes sir so uh, we have exceeded the time so we are winding up the session okay. so okay. thank you ayusar for being part of this uh, webinar series so we will be okay. Uh, onboarding you for the upcoming webinar series as well. So um, the students are requested to please uh, leave the session, leave the meeting. Thank you all for participating. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.